What's going on everybody? Thank you so much for jumping in to this video today. My name is Danny Coldblood, aka my music video. And I am here in the wonderful world of Grand Theft Auto, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the rarest vehicles that you can find and own within GTA Online. I'm gonna go ahead and focus on the online today, guys, not the single player, just the online as it's, you know, more interactive and you can do this and show your buddies the coolest cars in the game and, you know, they're going to probably wonder how you got some of these things. And I'm basically doing this video because I looked online everywhere and I couldn't find a video that was up to date um, with any sort of relevance to, to rare cars. Like, everything that I found was so old and outdated and... Most of the cars that they claim are rare are now available to buy on the online store. As you guys might know, you can go in your phone when you're on GTA Online and there's different websites that have vehicles. And, you know, going through all the different vehicles, you can buy tons of different stuff. You could buy armored stuff, you could buy sports stuff, you could buy just classic old school retro stuff, you could buy bikes, you could buy... There's a whole bunch of different stuff. What I'm going to go ahead and show you guys is the stuff that you cannot buy. This is stuff that you have to go ahead and find in the game. Because when I first started this game, the day the game came out, I was a big, big car collector. I was a big, rare car collector. I went out with a couple buddies and we seriously loaded up our garages with the, the most rare vehicles that you can possibly find in the game. The ones that very rarely spawned and you couldn't buy them and... You know, sometimes we even had to go into missions to try to, like, you know, keep them from the mission. And there was a whole bunch of tactics and so many days spent collecting rare vehicles while everyone else had the awesome super, you know, sports cars that costed, you know, millions of dollars and everything in their garages. And we had, you know, shitty, beaten up, rusty friggin' <laughs> hunks, of, uh, hunks of metal in our garages, but they were rare, so we were very happy. Anyway, I couldn't find anything online showing an up-to-date list of the rare vehicles. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the most up-to-date list that you can possibly look for, and it's going to have all of the rarest vehicles that you can find in GTA Online that you cannot buy and that you can own and put in your garage. So, without any further ado, let's get right into it. As you guys can see, this vehicle cannot be stored in your garage. So, this is not a rare vehicle. This was kind of a, a little hoax on you guys. Some people think that you can store certain vehicles, and I just want to refrain from having people complaining about, you know, why isn't the golf cart on your list? Well, the golf cart can't be stored. So this is exclusively the stuff that you can't buy and that you can store. And it's definitely going to make your friends ask you, where the hell did you get that thing? So, let's begin. The first vehicle that we're going to show off, guys, is going to be the Nagasaki Blazer Lifeguard. This is pretty cool, as you can buy four-wheelers on the uh, in-game websites, but you cannot buy the Lifeguard four-wheeler. So this is pretty cool. I've had people ask me before, how the hell did you get that thing? You can find this actually on the beach, near the mask shop, um, you know, south, uh, west of the map, above the airport, on that stretch of, uh, sand. You'll go ahead and find these near the lifeguard, um, little stations there. So, that is the first vehicle that we're going to show off, the Nagasaki Blazer Lifeguard. Second on the list, we have the Albany Manana. This is a pretty awesome car. It's got the distinct chrome flames on the bottom of the car near the wheel well, the front wheel well. And it does come in a couple different variants. It has the one that you're looking at right now with the hard top, and it also comes uh, without a top. So depending on which one you like, go ahead and get it. It's uh, usually found in the city. Most of these cars, um, you're gonna be able to just find anywhere in the city, guys. Sometimes you can call Lester up and have uh, him get you a car. You can request a vehicle through Lester. Sometimes it'll end up being uh, a rare car and uh, sometimes when Simeon asks for certain cars um, Some of those cars happen to be rare and You'll have a better chance of finding those rare vehicles when Simeon wants them And if you really can't find the vehicle guys 
Um, sometimes it's hard, you know, but just go ahead and jump sessions, go to invite onlys, uh, try driving a similar type of vehicle, and you'll get the car that you want, trust me. All these cars are definitely obtainable, and they definitely cannot be bought, so if you want to impress some of your friends with some of the unique cars in the game that you might not even have seen, okay, some of these you might not even see uh, within the game, you might wonder how the hell did you get this thing, and for those, I will definitely tell you guys how to get those. So the next car we have is the Canis Mesa. Now we can, uh, you know, send mercenaries at people and they'll drive a certain variant of the Mesa, but it's not this one. This one is kind of common, but I consider it a rare vehicle as you cannot buy it at all within the in-game websites and you can store it in your garage. So the third car is the Canis Mesa. Next, we have the Balakin Prairie. This is a pretty cool car. It's a two-door. Um, it's not really above average in anything. It's just one of those cars that Rockstar decided not to make available for sale. You know, a lot of the vehicles, guys, that, uh, you know, started off being rare when the game released, uh, you know, over time, Rockstar slowly started making them available one by one on the in-game websites. So... The list of rare cars definitely, uh, you know, uh, shortened over time. And now there's only a handful left, and that's the handful you guys are going to see today in this video. So there's a reason, I think, that there's uh, certain cars left for the uh, the rare um, category. And I do believe that is part of the biggest Easter egg in video game history. If you guys are watching this video and you're here just because of the cars and you really don't know what else I do on my channel, I actually show off a lot of the clues and connections leading to the biggest Easter egg in video game history, which is the Chiliad Mystery. So if you guys don't know about the Chiliad Mystery, I urge you to check the rest of my channel as you will be enticed with what Rockstar did in this game right before your very eyes. And trust me, cars have a lot to do with it as the name of this game is Grand Theft Auto, is it not? So trust me, cars do have a lot to do with the mystery in the game as well. So we're kind of killing two birds with one stone here, guys. We're checking out the rarest vehicles in the game. And we are also looking at what Rockstar decided not to make available for purchase. You gotta wonder why. Well, there's different symbols and emblems on the cars. As you can see, the Canis Mesa has a star on it. All right. Um, there's also the names, you know, Canis Mesa, kind of like the uh, constellations, you know, Canis Major. All right. So think about it, guys. There's a lot of clues right here so far that we might not even have realized as it's right before our eyes, but it's all about your perception. What are you picking up on? So, if you guys are interested in the mystery and you don't know about the mystery, check it out. It's on my channel. Almost every single video talks about the Chilean mystery. And the community is really helpful. So, if you guys want to go ahead and hit up forums or um, in the description for this video, I have the connections to the, the clubs I have on the Xbox and the community on the PS4. Lots of different ways you can contact me and other people alike that will definitely help you out on solving this Chilean mystery. And I do have a rare car video series I did come out with, and I had a couple uh, videos, and then it kind of took a break because of uh, you know other stuff that kind of was found, and I kind of followed a different path. But I do want to get back into the cars because, like I said, Grand Theft Auto cars are definitely important, and this is a good video for anyone trying to get more knowledge on the mystery and anyone that doesn't know what the fuck the mystery is about and just wants to see what the rarest cars are in the fucking game. So let's go ahead and move on to the next vehicle. And that vehicle is none other than the Fathom FQ2. This is one of the ones that Simeon does ask for. So if you can't find this, just wait till he harasses you on your phone and you'll be sure to see one of these around the city somewhere. Next on the list, guys, we have none other than the Benefactor Dubsta. This is a fucking awesome car. Highly recommend it. It's really kick-ass and you know what? It's pretty hard to find. I've noticed that, uh, you know, when you're looking for a car, it never spawns, but when you have it, and you don't need it anymore, it seems to be everywhere. There is a variant of this car that you can buy that is not rare on the Warstock page. I believe it is a 6x6, 
But if you want this version, you're going to have to go out and do the dirty work, guys. This is an awesome vehicle. I definitely recommend it. Next on the list, we have none other than the Vapid Speedo. This vehicle is your traditional pedophile uh, vehicle of choice as it is all blacked out and, uh, you know, not really too much room to see in the back. And you can definitely hide some children in there. Uh, so bring extra bags of candy when you're looking for this thing. You can find this above the docks, kind of like Lester's neighborhood, El Barrow Heights. Uh, you're definitely going to have good odds looking in that area for the Vapid Speedo. And for all you mystery hunters, sometimes we switch over to Trevor in single player, and you'll notice he'll be under the pier, and he'll be like yelling at some guy that he has tied up to one of the poles down there. And this is one of the vehicles that seems to spawn with you down there. For some reason, you have a Vapid Speedo at that point in time, even if you've never owned it. So that's kind of weird that they give you a Vapid Speedo when you are uh, terrorizing a guy under the pier. So kind of throwing that out there, not sure... Uh, you know, the relevance of that, but that is definitely a suspicious situation. So there is the Vapid Speedo, guys. It was very hard to find, and I never thought I would say, damn it, I wish I had a Speedo, until I was looking for this thing. Next on the list is none other than the Imponti Phoenix. This is an amazing car, a sweet S muscle car. I really do enjoy it. Um, it's really cool, man. There's so much about it. It's just, it's just... A very very great vehicle I recommend it highly you can find this in the same kind of area that you can find the speedo in around the docks Elboro Heights uh, you can basically find it anywhere actually so uh, definitely get this one if you don't have it already and for all you mystery hunters we know that the Phoenix you know is tied to mythology and a lot of the clues rocks are uses are tied to mythology and we do have that one billboard that I brought up before one man will rise up again and we know that the Phoenix does rise. So there's a little bit of a, you know, sweetening of the pot for you guys. So definitely check out the uh, Imponti Phoenix if you guys have not yet grabbed that one. Next on the list, we have another Imponti. Not a Phoenix, but a Ruiner. Now, there is a variant that you can buy online that I wish I can afford. And it's comes, it comes suited with a friggin' parachute. You guys... Definitely know what I'm talking about, I believe, because it is a pun off of the old TV show, uh, Knight Rider, I believe it's called, and, uh, you know, the the, uh, the the show with the talking car and all that shit. Well, this one has a parachute, uh, missiles, guns, so if you guys want to go ahead and buy that version, it is on the in-game website. This one that you're looking at right here is not that version. It doesn't have guns. It doesn't really have much, but it's a fucking awesome car. It handles pretty damn cool, and it is definitely one for the collection if you are trying to collect the rarest cars within Grand Theft Auto Online. And a lot of these rare vehicles, um, you'll notice, have a certain uh, feature that's, um, you know, completely exclusive to that vehicle. And on the Ruiner, it has a license plate holder that says something that no other license plate holder in the game will say, unless you have a Ruiner, of course. And it says... Ruiner on top, and then below it, it says Ruining Imports since 67. So that's pretty cool. Not only is it a vehicle that you cannot buy, and that you have to go out and, you know, do the dirty work and find it on your own to own it, because it is a rare vehicle, but it also has features on it that you can't find on any other vehicle. And you'll notice that a lot while looking at the rare vehicles in the game. So it's kind of cool that there is features exclusive to certain cars. Next on the list, guys, we have the Karen Futo. The Karen Futo is definitely an amazing car. I really do recommend it. If this is not in your collection by now, you better go out there and start looking for this thing. This is a very awesome car. And in the upgrade section of it, uh, when you go to, you know, mod it up in Los Santos Customs, you can get the tailpipes that go all the way up. I mean, they stick up off off the back of the car like really high up in the air it's pretty cool it gives that awesome like drag uh, look and everything and uh, there's a lot of different uh, um, customizable uh, pieces that you can put on this vehicle and if you do like your racing this is a drifting friggin master right here so if you do not have the Karen Fudo I definitely recommend it as right now currently in 
the game. You cannot buy it. So go out there, look for it, get it, love it, show it off. The next car we're going to go ahead and feature here is going to be the Karen BJXL. I never thought I'd be featuring a BJ on my channel, but looks like that time has come. And if you guys remember story mode, uh, Franklin goes to repo uh, a vehicle from Michael's house, right? From Michael's son. And this is the vehicle that he's going to repo. This is the same vehicle that Michael's hiding in the back seat of. And he, you know, gets up out of the covers and points the gun at Franklin's head and says, Drive through that fucking glass. And, uh, yeah. It kind of begins the story of how the uh, two uh, protagonists out of three meet. So, if you don't have a BJ, well, I always recommend one. So go out, find that bad boy. This is another one that Simeon will recommend. And since we're on the topic, we are going to show off next. <laughs> the Hummer, guys. The Hummer. The BJs and the Hummers. This is the Mammoth Patriot. The Mammoth Patriot is... Uh, it's kind of common, you know, you can find it around. And it does come in a, uh, a different style as well. I think there's the, the style without these lights on top, and then there's the style with the lights. I obviously picked the one with the lights because, you know, more features the better. Anything I can do to make that Hummer a little bit better, you know, especially when you're talking about BJ's as well. Next on the list, guys, we have one of my favorites, and that is the Vapid Peyote. The Vapid Peyote is definitely a sweet friggin' car, and there's a lot of connections to this thing within the mystery and within Rockstar's way of doing things, as they like to foreshadow and kind of give us sneak peeks of what's going to come out later on within, you know, future games or even updates within the game that we're currently on, as the Vapid Peyote had, uh, you know, from day one, these, you know, animal-skinned type of seats and also the uh you know the uh, brand logo and stuff that you could put in the back windows here um that stuff wasn't added until not too long ago within the lowrider update but the vapid peyote was able to have all this stuff right off of the jump since day one and also in single player we know that we can eat peyotes and peyotes can turn us into different animals and there's a huge easter egg that was recently solved on single player where you turned into a golden peyote uh, turned you into Bigfoot. And Bigfoot had to fight the beast. The Michael J. Fox beast. Okay? And it's crazy. It's just absolutely crazy how all that shit happened. So the Vapid Peyote is definitely linked to all that as the name Peyote is a plant that we can chew on within the game. Definitely a cool car. Definitely linked to a lot of clues and foreshadowing that Rockstar likes to use. So, if you don't have this car, I recommend getting it, as I think it's just kick-ass. There's two different types. There's the one like you're seeing right here with the top on, and there's the one with the top off. So, whatever way you like it more, go ahead and find it, grab it, love it, cherish it, and show it off. Next on the motherfucking list, we have none other than the Albany Emperor. You guys might recognize this vehicle from the... Uh, single player and from online as this is none other than Lamar's vehicle. Lamar drives around in the Albany Emperor and uh, there is another variant of this vehicle and it is all rusted up. I didn't want to have to show that one and I was looking all over for the clean one and finally right before I did the video I was able to find this so don't worry guys don't give up if you're looking for a car or a certain variant of a car and you can't get it, can't find it, just keep on looking and, you know, it'll eventually show up. So, here is a clean model of the Albany Emperor. The next car on the list is another car by the brand Albany. Not the Emperor, but the Albany Habanero. This vehicle got me heated just like the name would <laughs> presume to get you as this thing was nowhere to be found. I couldn't find this thing anywhere. Um, it's definitely a very, very interesting vehicle to ride. It's unique and it's very, very similar to the Vapid Radius. Once you get it, you're gonna like it. Next on the list, guys, we have none other than the Benefactor. 
Serrano. And this car is a car that when you really take a look at, most people actually tell me that they don't think they've ever even seen this in the game before. And at first you might think it's like a Landstalker or, you know, one of those cars like that. But no, guys, this is the Mercedes type of like SUV, if you will, within the game. It's an amazing style. It's an amazing uh, vehicle. It climbs up the hills pretty awesome. Um, I love it. I love the style of it. I love everything about it. This is one of my favorite vehicles. Um, you know, I'd say the uh, Impazzi Phoenix and then this uh, right behind it uh, is my two top faves when it comes to the rear vehicles in the game. So if you don't have this one, go ahead and look for it. It's, uh, you know, kind of between the city and um, like the desert. It's like right in that middle area. So uh, kind of where the uh, mystery, the murder mystery cave or uh, mine entrance is right in them. Uh, streets over there guys, so definitely get this while you still can because this is an amazing friggin vehicle Next on the list guys. We have The dune buggy you're probably asking why the dune buggy wait a minute motherfucker I'm gonna go check my in-game phone right now This isn't our rare vehicle and We're gonna go ahead and see If it is or not the reason I put this vehicle on the list is because it is available to buy, as you can see, for 20000 on the in-game website. But, look at the uh, image here. See how it's the same as the, um, the version that I have sitting there? Okay? When you buy it off the website, you will not get this variant. You're going to get the one that's all covered up with the panels and everything. Um, I don't know why but you cannot buy this variant of it. So I decided to throw it in the mix and it made the list of the rear vehicles. So if you want this vehicle, you're gonna have to go all the way out to Polito Bay. So what you wanna do is you're gonna go out to here and there's a stunt jump right there. See the stunt jump? So right over here, right on the strip of road right here. From, like from here to about here, okay? It's gonna spawn. All you need is a dune buggy. It could be the variant that we're looking at right now, the rare variant, or it could be the regular one with the panels. It doesn't matter what dune buggy you take out here, you just need a dune buggy to spawn the dune buggy. And if you spawn the one with the panels, don't be worried. Just you know, keep on driving up and down this, this road and you'll eventually spawn the one that we're looking at right now. The rare one and the, the more badass of the two if you ask me. I know the gun running DLC is now out and there's way better Doom Buggies to get, but if you want the free one and you want the one that's rare, this is how you do it. So there is the Doom Buggy, guys. It's kind of weird how you need one to spawn one. And there is another vehicle like that that actually made the rare car list, and that is none other than the Romeo Hearse. And this vehicle is pretty badass, especially around Halloween and stuff. Um, there's no dead bodies or anything in the back, just some flowers and stuff. There is a coffin, which is badass. But if you want this vehicle, you're going to need one to spawn one as well. And, uh, you know, hopefully one of your friends has one or you can get a hold of me. I don't mind helping out. But if you want this vehicle, it does spawn in one of two places as far as I know. And the one place is down in the city um, at the morgue. And the other one is actually right near where we are right now. There is the golf course, and then there is the uh, cemetery. And the cemetery, um, you know, has uh, the church in front of it. It says uh, Hell Valley Church and everything, and you can find the hearses parked in the parking lot. So once you guys go ahead and get uh, a friend or whatever that has one, he can make it spawn for you over at the Hill Valley Church or possibly the morgue down in the city. So there is the Romeo hearse. Now we have one more vehicle, guys, the last vehicle, and that will be the conclusion to the rare vehicles that you can get currently up to date right now, okay, in the game that you cannot buy and you can't own. So this is the last one. You guys ready for it? Are you ready for it? The last but not least vehicle of the rare car list within Grand Theft Auto Online is none other than the spick and span, no rust at all, beautiful, natural disaster type of name, but not really, musically inclined, but not really, 
Eh, Mexican, but not really. Oh, let's get to the point already. We have... <laughs> none other than... The Tornado. And it's the tornado that is rusted. And it's the tornado with the sombrero. And the guitars. And the newspaper on the floor. And the ripped up seats. And the CD player that seemed to get jacked by some asshole that really thought that this car factory CD player or radio was so worth the trouble. Uh... Why do you want this? Well, I'll tell you why you guys want this car, because all your friends are going to say, how the fuck did you get this car? And uh, this is the rarest vehicle, in my uh, opinion, because you actually need to go ahead and sabotage uh, Easter egg that rocks are put in the game. Over in the north, we have the Altruist Camp, okay? And the Altruist Camp um, is right near a ledge, okay? And what happens is, there's a Thelma and Louise Easter egg, and they drive their car off the cliff, and this is their car, and, you know, it blows up or whatever, and they die. Now, if you can, you know, find a way to sabotage it so where they don't, uh, you know, kill themselves, and they don't destroy the car, you can actually take this car and bring it to the customs and insure it and keep it. So you'll have it tracked, you'll have it insured, and you'll have it in your garage, and you don't have to worry about a thing as you now own a vehicle that only shows up once a day because it's only between um, like an hour or two uh, in the evening, once a day on a GTA Online Day. So you can go ahead and sabotage that Easter egg and get this vehicle if you want it. So this is the last car, guys, and uh, it's definitely worth it. And I want to just bring up one thing. If you hit down on the D-pad in your garage, you notice that you can bring up the uh, stats of the vehicle, the name of the vehicles, and the like emblem, like the logo of the vehicle, right? For example, this one has like the diamond on the top right of it, and this one has uh, the BF, and this one has uh, that V-shaped thing, right? And this one has a weird blotchy colored square of doom. Now, those of you that were in last gen that might have collected cars or um, you know, maybe earned the dunce cap a couple times for being a bad sport by cheating and stuff. <clears throat> I never would do such things, but uh, uh, you guys might remember that, you know, people were modding in stuff like the Space Stalker into the online and vehicles that just were never online. People were, you know, getting in, you know, to the online game. And uh, when you looked at them in your garage, they showed up with this type of weird colored shit uh, in the corner, you know, for the logo of the vehicle. Like the Space Doctor had something just like this. Um, so it's kind of weird how this vehicle, out of all the vehicles, is the only one that I've ever seen um, to have that, you know, on the um, on the stat little uh, menu thing when it's actually got, uh, when you actually earned it legitly. Like, there's no cheating involved. We didn't cheat, we didn't mod, we didn't do anything to get this car. We literally sabotaged an Easter egg. So why does it have that marking that was always associated with, you know, vehicles that were, you know, definitely not supposed to be online, that, you know, someone cheated to get online. So that's just something I want to point out, as that's kind of weird. And uh, that's everything, guys, so far. So that is every single car that you can find in the game that you cannot buy in the game. And you could definitely show your friends and have them say how the hell did you get that or where'd you get that or can you help me get this so if you want a garage unlike any other person's garage that you're gonna find within the online play guys definitely 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 remember where you've seen this video because as of right now I did the homework and I tried to find a video a forum uh, anything a website and I couldn't find anything with any uh, current up-to-date information everything was mixed in with everything else and those vehicles that have been made available for sale you know for months already and you know I don't need that I need something that's current up to date and authentic and definitely um, uh, something I can believe and trust in so if you guys are uh, happy with the video if this is gonna help you out in any way shape or form definitely hit the like button and uh, if you hated the video definitely hit the uh, the unlike button if you guys are new to the Chili Ed Mystery, and this might be the first time that you ever heard of such a thing, definitely subscribe as new videos coming out will definitely tickle your fancy. Maybe uh, <laughs> even be uh, make you become a hunter yourself, guys, as 
Uh, that's what happened to me. I went from uh, being a rare car hunter to being a, you know, Chilean mystery hunter with Inventor Toto. So thank you guys all for joining. It's been an awesome honor and pleasure. Thank you all so much. I'll see you in the next video or broadcast. Until next time, take it easy, Tata, -ta, and as motherfucking always, peace.